What is going on guys? My name is Fusions and today we're going to open up this Bakugan Darkest Sorturon and Chaos Slugler Geogun Brawler Pack. So let's get started guys. Alright guys, so first of all, thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers. We actually just hit it uh, this week. So amazing, amazing. That's one of the biggest goals of the channel so far. It's crazy. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, leaving a like, comment, um, anything and interacting with the channel at all uh, it means a lot to me so thank you guys so much all right so let's get started uh, we got this geogun brawler pack we got five bakugan in here two of them are geoguns as you guys can see we got the darkest surturon and Chaos slugler we also got three other ones that we can see right here on the back we got a shark tar arlis and aquas Ferasco, and aventus pincitor so i'm excited i want to see what um what these guys are i want to see their their power let's see if they're powerful or not and yeah let's open up the box Th these boxes are a little tricky to open so let me just open up the box okay so here we go we got the top open so everything should just come out there you go very nice we have all five bakugan right here and then we have their character cards i think we have three gate cards which is uh very nice because i like collecting the gate cards and then we have some other stuff. Oh, I think there's also three action cards in here as well. So let's take a look at this little bag first. Okay, so here's the first little bag. Uh, let's open this one up. We have the how to play instructions and I think the cores are in here as well. Yep, okay, we'll put those to the side. We'll take a look at them later. And here's the other little bag that has um, all the important stuff, the character cards, the action cards, the gate cards. So let's take a look at those. So here we have the action cards and the gate cards. Here's the first one. Really cool gate card. I really like the art on these uh, gate cards. Here's the second one. We got a Hydras right there. Very nice with some Baku gear on them. Very cool. And then the last one is a, oh, it's a Centipod. Very nice. I recently just opened up this guy and uh, he's just really cool. It's a really cool Bakugan. Okay. And then here we have the action cards. We got Cloak Defense. I think we have one action card for each Bakugan. So we got five. Cloak Defense. Fusion Flames. Very nice. Darkest Piercer. That's a that's really cool. He's, he's literally piercing the darkness. That's nice. I like that art. G-Force Drop. And Aquos Bright Beams. Very nice. I, I can't wait to see that Bakugan. Hopefully it comes out or a Geogun. It might be a Geogun. Okay, let's move on to the Bakugan. Here's Pintator. We got Ferasco. Shark Tar. Sir Turon. Yeah, very weird. And the last one is Slugler. As you guys can see, look at this. It was super hard to take out. All right, so first let's take a look at the Baku cores and then we'll take a look at the Bakugan themselves. Here's Here we have a shield, minus 200B, normal, uh, simple trap, plus 300B, another shield. We got a Helix, which is plus 600B, minus three attack. One of the strongest Helix in my opinion. We got another Helix, plus 300B and plus three attack. Very balanced, very nice, but I don't really use that one. We got a shield. Uh, Pyrus and Ventus get plus 400B. I think this is one of the new ones. Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't, I think I've gotten one of these, but I'm not sure. But that's nice. It's a new one. And then we got a magic shield minus 400B. I don't like using too many traps, but the, here's another option. All right. So now let's take a look at the Bakugan. First, we're going to take a look at. Okay. So we're going to take a look at Shark Tar first. Here he is, Aurelis Shark Tar. 800B and one attack. This act, this Bakugan actually comes in the Baku, new Bakugan Arena. And it is listed as an exclusive. But as you guys can see, it is not an exclusive to the arena. You can also get it in this um, Brawler Pack, which is kind of funny. They I don't know if they messed up or I'm not sure. But if you want this guy, you can also get him here. Very nice. Really cool Bakugan. I like how it looks. And uh, this RLS is 801. Um, for an RLS... It might be, I think it's all right, but the bad thing is that it has two regular shields. If it had maybe like a, like a magic shield, that would be very good. But what do you guys think? I want to know your opinions. And let's take a look at the Bakugan now. Let's put it back there. Here he is. Here's that RLS Bakugan. 
I like that gold. I really like that color on the RLS Bakugans. They don't use it that much. Like in this one, I think they're only using using it for that part. Yeah. Everything else is just normal. But let's open it up. Let's see how he looks. Let's roll him onto this core. Okay, three, two, one, bro. Ooh, nice. Very cool. I really like this uh shark tar. I like that they used it also uh, like on top of his mouth. Very nice. Look at look at that face. Look at that face right there. I really like this Bakugan. Very nice. And we got the 800 B power right there. What do you guys think of this one? I think it looks pretty cool. I like the RLS colors on it. Up next, we have... Okay, so we have Farasco. One of like the really cool Bakugan, in my opinion, from this wave. This is the Aquos Farasco. It carries two Helix, which could be good. And then here we have 500 B, three attack. So decent, uh, not too high. But of course, we got two Helix. And then if you do land on a Helix, you get plus three Frost Strike, which is very nice. But the bad thing is that uh, Helix, like I said, this is the strongest one in my opinion. This one right here. So it could go all the way up to 1100 B with three Frost Strike, but minus three attack. And he only has three. So it would be zero attack. Uh, I like the cores, though. It could be strong. Maybe if it gets an Evo. We still don't know if it, um, these Bakugan have Evos. They have not come out yet. Um, but pretty cool, pretty nice stats, decent. And here it is. Here is the Bakugan. It looks very simple. You can already see the mouth right there. And then I'm pretty sure these are the eyes. This is kind of like Kubble, like the old Bakugan. Let's open it up. It's basically the it functions the same way. Let's roll it on to the core. Three, two, one, bro. There we go. Exactly like Kubble. It just springs up. And here it is for Asko. I really like the Bakugan. I like the design of it. It looks like it's sitting down, as you guys can see, with the arms, like, holding the legs right there. Very cool. I wonder if I can... Can I pull these down? No, they're not movable. Okay, so here's Farasco. What do you guys think of this one? I like it, in my opinion. Next up, we got... Okay, so here's Pinsator. Very cool. This is one of my favorite Bakugan from this wave um, as well. Um, this is 700 B power and one attack. So almost as strong as the RLS, but that's why I'm saying like, if it's an RLS, it has to be pretty strong because there's not that many RLS cards. So for this one as a Ventus, pretty strong. 700 is more than decent. We got a magic shield as well and the regular shield. So good cores in my opinion. Also, if you land on a magic shield, you get plus four attack. So if you land on the best magic shield, which would be... 6 650 this bakugan could go all the way to 1350 and then you get the extra bonus 1350 and five attack so that seems pretty strong especially because it's a ventus it, it seems really good in my opinion what do you guys think i like this one i really like this one we're gonna put that in the back and now let's take a look at the bakugan here it is very cool i like this one i like the design of it i already have a couple of these from other factions so i know how he looks and I just really like them. So let's open them up onto this core. Three, two, one, bro. There he is, very cool. He opens up and then he gets that really cool look with the stinger right in the middle. And you can actually open up the legs like this. As you guys can see, we got the legs open. These are manual uh, parts, so you gotta open them yourself. And I'd never done that with my other Pintatores, but you can actually open up this little tail right here on the back as well. Very cool. I like this one. What do you guys think of this one? I really like this one. I like the design of it. Very cool. And it's pretty strong, in my opinion. Now, onto the Geogons. So first, we're going to take a look at... Okay, so we here we have Darkest Surturon. 1700 B power and 6 attack. We got 4 energy costs, uh, which is actually pretty decent. You get a pretty strong Bakugan. There's other Bakugans that... I are stronger in my opinion i just opened up a, a darkest slugler if you guys did not watch that one i feel like that one could be stronger than this but just let me know down in the comments what do you guys think which one's stronger because this one costs a little bit more energy uh to play but it is it had does have more attack it is stronger uh with attack so let me know down in the comments it looks really cool though this is my first sir turon i have never opened another one of these so let's see how it opens up let's take a look at it so uh, you can actually, you can probably roll this one, but I'm not going to. 
with geo guns you gotta drop them so let's see three two one brawl okay so spring open like this and it literally just it pops up and then the arms come out very cool again man with these uh geo guns they're using a lot of clear plastic and this clear purple just looks very nice i really like how it looks i feel like um they they look kind of like diamonds just because of the clear and it just makes it look very cool i like this guy he's not one of my favorites i don't like the design as much as others but he looks pretty cool and onto the last bakugan of this brawler pack which is another geogon here we have Heos slugler it costs three energy to play 1400 b and seven attack could be very strong the b power is a little low for three energy um but i think it's still strong because of that attack that type makes it up for the b power um it could be very strong it could be very strong and I, I think this guy slugler he just looks kind of weird to me uh these look like eyes i don't know if they're eyes i don't think they are but he just he looks very weird to me what do you guys think of this guy he looks super weird he has some gems in the back i don't know for what but let's take a look at the bakugan now here it is like i said even like the bakugan itself it just looks weird it's super spiky there's spikes everywhere okay so let's open this guy up and of course you guys can already see all the clear plastic all around even on the top so pretty cool i like how it looks three two one bro okay very cool i've already opened one of these so i know how he looks but this one man i feel like this one looks a lot better than the other one that i opened i opened up the darkest one and this this chaos one the clear plastic with the white just makes it look very very nice what do you guys think of this guy very cool i really like this one okay guys so that's it for this review of this uh brawler pack what do you guys think of this brawler pack uh overall i think it has some nice bakugan some strong ones i think the strongest one from this uh brawler pack might be the pinch tour or uh maybe the slugler i think one of those two is going to be the strongest but let me know down in the comments which one you think is stronger make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video subscribe we just hit a thousand subscribers so once again thank you guys so much uh thank you for supporting the channel thanks for watching guys and peace out